This is Optimal Relationships Daily, episode 1026, Five Tips to Make Your Groceries Last Two Weeks, by Shauna Scaife of simpleonpurpose.ca. Hello, everybody, and welcome to another Thursday here on ORD with me, your host, Greg Audino. For those who are new to the show, on Thursdays and Fridays, we like to share content that's specifically geared towards parenting and the many aspects of those relationships. Sometimes it's heavy stuff, sometimes it's more lighthearted day-to-day stuff, like making less trips to the grocery store. And that's what we've got today, thanks to Shauna Scaife, who has a never-ending supply of good practical tips for moms. Let's hear what she has for us today, and start optimizing your life. Five Tips to Make Your Groceries Last Two Weeks by Shauna Scaife of simpleonpurpose.ca We are entering a time when a lot of us are avoiding regular trips to the grocery store. We are honoring the stay-at-home protocols, and it has had some side effects on our meal situation. About four years ago, I started to simplify our groceries. One change we made was the two-week grocery shop. We've moved it up to weekly in the recent year. But I wanted to reshare this post for the lessons I was learning and the strategies that were helping us maintain a two-week shop. The fact is, I do not enjoy grocery shopping. I don't mind the meal planning or making an exorbitantly detailed list for my husband who, God bless him, shops for us, even if it means navigating the suitable substitution pop quiz portion of the shopping. I do dislike having to shop every week, sometimes more. All the packing and unpacking, all the readjusting meal plans around the mystery substituted food item. So, when we brought in this new year with the plan to budget our butts off, we thought a monthly grocery shop to the big city would save us time and money. After reading up on monthly shops, doing all your shopping at once to last for the whole month, it seemed pretty daunting, and we thought a two-week shop seemed like a better place to start out. In the past, our frequent small trips to the store usually cost more than we intended, though I'm sure we aren't the only ones who go in for apples and bread and come out with a giant wheel of half-priced brie, nachos, and mango juice, not to mention it somehow took at least an hour every single trip. The other bonus of doing this two-week shop is we can coordinate it with my Connor's week-on, week-off work schedule. This means we run out of food during Connor's time at home and restock before he has to go back to work, which works better than the opposite. Code I will black box challenge to the death to avoid grocery shopping alone with three small kids. When Connor is home, we plan a trip to the city for appointments or to visit family and incorporate a grocery shop in the mix. At this point, we bring all three kids in, two carts, and divide and conquer the list. I'd like to say this is a simple thing, but it usually ends up with my husband driving a cart devoted to children and snacks with me being the pace card ahead, checking off the list like I'm on a nightmarish shopping spree game show that will only end in tears and a flurry of granola bar wrappers. Not to mention the intermission, where one of our children lay starfish down the produce aisle floor, and me getting that, if one more person bites a red pepper and I have to add it to my cart, I am going to snap and turn this cart around, look in my eyes. Regardless, about a half a year in, We are still doing the two-week shop, and we are actually following a grocery budget for the first time, ever. It's been great on the results side. Aside from a minor disagreement on how many vegetarian meals a man can take before he pulls some chicken out of the freezer, thereby derailing your future meal plans for said chicken, and maybe giving you some new marriage insight that goes something like, just let the man eat chicken. 5 Tips to Do the Two-Week Grocery Shop Number 1. Take inventory of what you already have. Before I make a meal plan for the two weeks, I write down everything we have in the pantries, freezers, and fridge. Our cupboards are full of money we've already spent and forgotten about. Gotta use this stuff up. Number two, make a meal plan. Making a plan is what makes your grocery shop actually work. Know what you need and get just that. Then you'll save some money instead of accumulating more and more groceries. This also helps you ensure you are getting enough of everything for the two weeks. To make a meal plan, I read the flyers, take inventory, and compare it to my meal planning book of ideas. Number three, plan to run out. Oh, another list? Yeah, 
I have a list of meals sorted by beginning of the two weeks to end of the two weeks. They range from using the fresh ingredients first to meals I can make near the end of the two weeks with more ingredients from the pantry and freezer. We've learned a lot about meals we can make with what we have on hand in the freezer and pantry. I even try to challenge myself at the end of the two weeks to see if I can push it a few more days or before Connor begins to waste away from lack of protein, of course. Number four, store your food properly. Did you know if you store cilantro with its stems in a jar of clean water and loosely covered with plastic that it will last for at least two weeks in your fridge? I have thrown out a lot of food that just went bad. So I started searching ways to store produce and make it last longer. There are legit tips out there, like don't store potatoes and onions near one another. Keep your avocados in the fridge and bring them out a day before you want to eat them. We have even started freezing cheese and milk. It changes the consistency a bit, but it helps prolong the groceries. Number five, eat less. It sounds simple, but I'm a slow learner and a gluttonous consumer. We have had to learn to pay attention to how much we're eating. At first, it felt like I was on constant ration patrol of our fresh ingredients. Yes, I will arm wrestle you if you add more red pepper to your omelet, dear. As we've been intentionally eating less and not cramming all the awesomeness, cheese, bacon, more cheese, we can into singular meals, it has been easier to make everything last two weeks and never feel like we are going without. First world problem, I'm well aware. You just listened to the post titled, Five Tips to Make Your Groceries Last Two Weeks, by Shauna Scaife of simpleonpurpose.ca. And a big thanks to Shauna for that important post for both parents and singles. Though this one was about food, it's hard to think that these principles couldn't be applied to other uh, recurring time sucks that we often wish we could get rid of. I recommend if you have something like this in your life, you know, maybe it's excessive clothes shopping, uh, constant trips to the laundromat, or always having to get gas. Remember that there are ways to stock up and use these products more efficiently. And planning to do so can really help you feel ahead of the curve, as well as less flustered on days when you'd normally have to run out to one of these places, but just don't have the time. Long term, this can really help us stay in rhythms and not divide our days too much and just stay focused on tasks at hand. So that's going to do it for today, everybody. I thank you so much for being here and joining me for another one of Shauna's great posts. We are done for now, but we've got more parenting content for you tomorrow. A Doubleheader by Adina Sokloff of Parenting Simply. I hope to see you there, where your optimal life awaits.